Hey there, Paul Wagler here for a rise now on the two minute wake up call. Will you see what I have in my hands? A shaver and a clipper. It's time for some shaving in this house for me. Uh, something that happens pretty regularly. And I wanted to just quickly share with you a few thoughts of something that has happened to me regularly since I started shaving my head 17 years ago. And that is this, I regularly have people come up to me and say, you look like this person or you look like that person. And I'm like, what? Do all bald guys look the same? And so a guy at work, he'd say, you look just like the best man in my wedding. And he brought in a picture. Sure enough, I look like that guy. Some sisters at work say, you look like one of our brothers. They brought in a picture. Sure enough, I look like one of their brothers. And then more recently, I had somebody say to me while I'm wearing my sunglasses while driving the bus, they said, you look like the assassin in the movie Hitman. And I'm like, hmm. Not so sure I like that comparison, but then recently I had somebody as well text me while he's watching the movie The Rock uh, and, and with the actor Ed, Ed Harris, and he's saying, you look, like, uh, you look like Ed Harris. And then the other day I had somebody come on my bus and they said, when you wear your sunglasses, you look like a mob boss. And I'm like, really? Well, let, here, let's just try this out. Hey, Frank, call on the boys. We got a deal going down in the shipyard. Nah, that's not really me. So anyway, but it got me to thinking about who do I look like and who do I want people to see when they see me and who do you look like? And as a follower of Jesus, I uh, was reminded of how when Jesus was on the earth in John 14, he said to his disciples, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. So Jesus looked like his father, not necessarily maybe in physical appearance, but in the way that he acted and in his words and, and uh, just everything that was about him, he reflected the father. And, and as a follower of Jesus, we are called to be transformed into his image. We are to look like Jesus. So in 2 Corinthians 3.18, Romans 8.29, it talks us about, uh, about us being transformed into the image of Jesus. And, and, and I encourage you to ponder that. And I invite you into that journey with me that we would look like Jesus. And that when people see us, they wouldn't just see the physical appearance or uh, the bald head or whatever it is about us that they see, but they would see Jesus. That is my desire, and I invite you into that journey as well. Well, until we meet again, stay awake and stay alert.